So this is a 56 degree. I'm going to hit one more because I feel like I'm going to get a hole in one. If that's long enough. Do you know what this reminds me of? That time I'm caught up with my good friend Roger Cleveland. <laughs> I know, right? You haven't got to share the footage, it's fine. <laughs> no, you haven't got to share the footage. I love being with you. <laughs> well, that guy in the video, that's, um, that's funnily enough, Roger Cleveland. Yeah, the wedge guru who made this new MD5 Jaws wedge. So this new wedge replacing the MD4, designed by Roger Cleveland and the team to try and improve spin, control, looks, feel, all the above. We've got some improvements to the grinds from last year, but overall, they are very, very beautiful wedges. So Callaway is saying the new Jaws wedge has the most aggressive groove in golf. If this groove could talk, it would probably give off a warrior cry. Ah! That wasn't really... <laughs> Having hit a few of these now, I'm pretty sure I could spin this wedge out of a bowl of Cocoa Pops. I didn't burn you, Tommy, did I? With the RPM, I'm really sorry. Sorry, I'm uh, interrupting something. Right, so if you're the wedge player that wants a lot of options with your wedges, these are probably the wedges for you. We've got multiple grind options, multiple bounce options, a lot of loft options, two finishes to choose from. So we've got the traditional satin or the very sleek matte black. Mm. So we know we've got improved grooves, but we've also still got the micro grooves, which provides 84 different points of contact on the wedge to provide more spin. So the face feels so rough, obviously down to the micro grooves in the middle, but you could use this as a nail file. The head actual profile behind the ball even makes me feel confident hitting wedge shots, and that's a bloody miracle. If I hold this, I'll give it away. Oh God, that's in. So a big reason why we seem to be getting a lot of RPM is down to the wall angle within the groove. So this has got a 37 degree wall angle in the Jaws wedge, compared to the MD4 which only had five. Sounds good. So Callaway have tested these new grooves out on tour and the results have been pretty impressive. It, the ball's coming out at one degree lower launch angle with 500 more RPM. <laughs> So we've got an updated head profile and shaping, which I said I did prefer straight away. The 46 to 56 degrees are made smaller in head profiles, whilst the 58 64 heads have stayed the same. Aren't they nice? So with the MD4, we had the red colorway. We've now got the blue, so the blue eyelets at the back of the wedge, blue for jaws, and the blue Lamkin UTX grip, along with the stock shaft, which is a dynamic gold 115 Tor Issue S. 200. <laughs> Don't even know. Right. So lofts are available from 46 all the way up to 60 four degrees. But the big differences are the bounces and the grinds, which you guys are going to have to get fitted for. It's as vital as ever to get fitted for wedges because it depends on what conditions you play on the course. Are they firm? Are they soft conditions? But also your angle of attack. Do you come in steep? Do you come in shallow? Do you play more of a neutral angle of attack? And what do you actually want your wedges for? Lots of options. It can get quite confusing, so make sure you get fitted for them. So we're going to go through each grind individually to help you guys out with wedge selection because it is vitally important. So I'm here with the most versatile one. This is a 50, 50 degree, 10 degree bounce S grind. So the S grind is pretty versatile, 10 degree bounce so it sits roughly in the middle, it's not too high and it's not too low. 
but it, the, the actual grind itself allows us to open the face up for a flop, close it for more of a low punch, you can shank it, top it, you can do anything you want with this wedge, it's fantastic. Incoming! And then we go to my favourite grind for a full shot and that's the C grind because I tend to come in like this and sweep. So lower bounce, it's nice, it sits very flush to the ground so I don't feel like I'm going to top it, which is fantastic, it's very much ideal. And it sits very flush to the ground so I feel rather confident with it. Tommy, hold him one. Tommy, hold him one. Short. It was all over it. So again, C grind with being in WA, we don't have much rain, so the ground is relatively firm. So something like this sits, like I say, there's no ridge, it doesn't raise off the ground. That's very safe. So this is a 56 degree. I'm going to hit one more because I feel like I'm going to get a hole in one. If that's long enough. Oh! Ah! It's just short, it span away from the hole. I'm never going to get a hole in one. It was a little short, Tommy. It looked fantastic from the tee. But if you can see these, all these pitch marks here, that is a lot, a lot of RPM. Pitch mark there to there. The hole in one, it's a good 10 feet away. Spun all the way back there. This one looked really good as well, even shorter, spun all the way back there. So we're getting about 15 feet worth, at least, of Swagger Jagger. This is the cool thing about the sea. It's versatile, we can also use it here. So this is one of the grinds that's had a bit of an improvement this year. It's a wider sole, it's more versatile, it's got less bounce, um, and it makes shots like this relatively easy. So the W grind, another grind that's had a bit of a makeover this year. So after tour player feedback, Roger and the team have gone back and created a higher bounce and a lower bounce version of the 58 and 60 degree. So players wanted to be able to hit the full shots with this degree whilst also having the higher bounce, lower bounces for versatility around the greens. I could not have picked a harder bunker shot. Spin. Couldn't have played that much better. That is a hard shot. Last but not least, the X grind. This is a combination again of the W grind and C grind. The high bounce of the W grind with the versatility of the C grind. So it's going to benefit a better player that wants to flop and do all sorts of stuff and has a steeper angle of attack. Not one for me really, there's a good chance I'm going to knife this, but Tommy, if you want to stand there, I'll flop this over, over, over here. Yeah? No. That way. This way. No? No? Okay. I, I understand. I understand. See, look, you would have been safe. Lovely. That was a cracking shot. Try and get it closer behind that ridge. Stop then. It's that ridge. It's a difficult one. I'll go again. It's a very easy club to hit. Pulled that one a little bit. Tommy, you were safe. With it being a Team Owl video, we've obviously got to try and play a hole with just a wedge. So we've chosen a par five, 483 meters. Whilst we go down here, we'll obviously recap on what we've seen with this wedge throughout the review. I'm very, very impressed. Weapon of choice, 50, 50 degree, 10 bounce, S grind. So, I've literally got to knife this on purpose. Let's see how versatile these S grinds really are. Well, <laughs> I knifed it. I think you obviously saw the flight. <laughs> it was like a stinger slice and it's come out and hit the tree. So let's continue. So, that was a perfect strike. That's exactly what I wanted, but not the shape. So this tree's killed it. We've not made the fairway. Um, it's a long, long way, but I've still got to try and knife this. 
Oh, I've just flopped that in the air. We're in the fairway, this is going to be tough. Still you, Al. Still need a knife. I'm going to choke down a little bit and get half the ball. Yes, boy. That shape's not good, though. That was the one. We advanced with that thin. I'm in the bunker, which is ideal because I have a wedge. I don't always hit my wedge 300 yards, but when I do, it's from a greenside bunker. Up and down for a five. If I par this, I quit golf. Because I'd have hit driver out of bounds, the works. That's a long way though, isn't it? What we got? This is still going to be a bit of a knife, I reckon. To have any chance. Just don't want to knife it into that lip. I could not have played that any better. Just short of the green, it ballooned up a little bit. We've got a chip for five. <laughs> that's all that's left for a par with just a 50 degree wedge on a par five. Oh, it's not gonna go in though, is it? Optimism. I am so impressed with these wedges. Wedge decision making this year is gonna be very, very, very difficult. Some cracking wedges out there and this is just one of the best. Come on, please. Now turn right. It's too pacey, I think. Sit. Oh no. <sighs> Damn it. The improvements of these wedges, the shaping, I just think it's fantastic. I think it looks lovely behind the ball. Like I said earlier, gives me one of the worst wedges in the world a little bit of confidence as well, which is outstanding. For a six. Damn. If you like things like this, I might do a whole video dedicated to wedge holes. Because I reckon, I, I'd like to think I could, uh, yeah. Wedge hole masterclass. But there we go. An outstanding set of wedges. Couldn't get me a par, but I can't say that's really what they're designed for, to be honest. More escaping bunkers vice versa but if you have any questions on grinds lofts etc stick them down in the comment section below make sure you hit subscribe hit that bell notification follow us on social media the links are below bye bye